We had 10 preseason games last night, so we got our first look at some incoming rookies. We're going to call it a little rookie roundup. Here's how they fared. We're going to start with the Hornets number two pick. Brandon Miller, he had eight points off the bench against Miami, but his shooting struggles, they carried over a bit from Summer League. He was 0 for 4 from three in this game, but it's just preseason. Still plenty of time, Ramona. And then number three overall pick, Scoot Henderson, started a point guard for the Blazers. He had seven points, six assists against the New Zealand Breakers in this one. They play against the Phoenix Suns tomorrow. A new look in Portland. And then Summer League MVP Cam Whitmore, he kept things rolling with the Rockets. He came off the bench for 15 points, shot three of four from three against the Indiana Pacers. Biggest steal of the NBA draft, according to the GM survey. That is a perfect segue, Ramona Shelburne, mm. because we're going to talk a little bit about that NBA GM survey that came out this week. It's basically a poll of all 30 general managers around the league on a variety of different questions. That was one of them. But another one that caught our attention is when asked which player they would start a franchise with. All right, no surprise, right? Nikola Jokic, you got the highest percentage. But look who came in right after. Victor Wembanyama oh. got the second most votes before he has even made his regular season debut. Giannis, he came in third. He led this category last year. So, Brian Windhorst, if you were starting a new team, looking at this, you've been so high on Victor Wembanyama. What do you make of him coming in second here? <laughs> Well, I would go with Jokic, but I under, this is like one of the great compliments that you could give yeah. to a young player. This is a guy who they are basically saying, we believe in your future so much that we're out of 400 some odd players, we're ranking you second. By the way, in the top 50 rankings, Wembenyama in the top 50. I've, that's a compliment too. I'd love to go back. I don't think they were asking these questions or if the GM survey was around in 2003. Mm. I don't know if LeBron would have ranked there because not everybody believed that LeBron was going to be that big of an impact player. I remember Phil Jackson at the time saying he didn't think he belonged in the league yet. So for Victor Wembanyama to have garnered this much praise, yep. and by the way, even though there was a bunch of teams that were not have any chance to draft him, they all went over there. They all made the pilgrimage over to watch him play last year in France. They said they were there to watch Bilal Koulibaly. They were there to watch Victor. <laughs> they were there to take it in. And they have been obviously blown away. That, that was one of the most stunning things in the whole GM survey, that they thought that highly of him. Yeah, so Victor Wembanyama second, Nikola Jokic coming in first. Give me a, a player that you would be taking, Perk. <laughs> it's Giannis. <laughs> and I, I, you know what? And I don't get it, right? Giannis has proven over the last, what, five to six years on a consistent basis, Giannis has proved to us that he are, he's arguably the best player in the world. Night in and night out, even on Giannis' is off night, he's going out there and getting you 25 and 12. So, I mean, we, we have watched this young man grow day in and day out as a hell of a basketball player, the most dominant player in the game right now, in my opinion. And on top of that, go look at his rookie picture to how he looks now, the amount of work that he puts in on his body. Yep. We praise LeBron James, but Giannis Antetokounmpo is the prime, uh, prime definition of a perfect franchise player.